I love my magazine, Tamara's Closet Magazine. I really do. Uh, my magazine is uh, it's an extension of my uh, live internet show, which I've had seven years. And I just love, love the arts, have since I was a little girl. And I love supporting people and helping lift them in their dreams. And my magazine is an extension of that. So it just gives me, you know, another opportunity to celebrate um, the people that I've had on my show or new, new people. And I also get to interview uh, fabulous people with just amazing stories and even animal stories. So anyone that knows me knows how much that I love animals as well. And, and you know, the cool thing, some people don't know what Tamara's Closet, where I got the name came from. You know, the name Tamara's Closet came from just all the years that since I left home and got my first apartment and then when, you know, you get married and you get your first house or whatever, um, I've never had enough closet space. You know, the first house I ever had was an old home. So it had those small closets. It was a beautiful home. It was a nice, big, nice, big old home, but it, it just didn't have much closet space. And then, you know, um, you know, and then from there I went to, or before that, I think I was in a condo. Well, they don't have any, um, you know, closet space. And then I've kind of been in, uh, in and out of other homes. And even when I built my dream home, I had more closets. And, but still, I didn't have, it still wasn't big enough because I have so many passions. So because I never had enough closet space, you know, I, everything that I did, because I was had so many hobbies and interests, you know, I showed horses and I showed dogs. I did the bodybuilding competitions. And, um, gosh, just I'm trying to think what all would have been in my closet. Everything was in my closet. You could go into my closet and there would be bits and pieces of everything, like horse show stuff, horse show equipment, horse show leg wraps, uh, all this fun, glitzy stuff I bought for my horse. The same thing went for my dog. When I started showing Turk, I had all these doggy bags, like dog show bags that were full of grooming stuff and stuff to take to the shows and, and all that. So my closet was just an eclectic of all my passions. So that's how I came up with the name Tamara's Closet. And so um, I started the show interviewing people all over the world so I could celebrate them because I used to watch live interviews. And, you know, we watched live interviews. Um, the show that I used to watch would be two hours long, and you got these in-depth interviews with people um, learning so much about their past and learning what real the trenches they had to go through to get where they where they are today and I wanted to create a show that celebrated people more than just five or ten minutes that we see on talk shows and I also wanted to celebrate people at all different levels you know of um, on their journey because you know that way a person who's just getting started can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel when they see people like them being interviewed instead of just always seeing the already famous people interviewed because that's all we ever see. So how does that person see the light at the end of the tunnel? But when I ask somebody to be on my show, I ask people who are just getting started, maybe they have some notoriety and some who are already world renowned. That way, when you do ask someone who's just getting started, it's a big honor for them to be on the show when they see that I've interviewed people who have been around or had some notoriety or are already world renowned. So that's just a super, super boost for someone and it makes me feel good and it makes them feel good and it gives them that boost to keep them on their journey because it's so easy to give up on our dreams. So I kind of wanted to show you some of the little thing. I'm gonna see if my video will. Yeah, so these are some of the past issues I've had and um, this was my first issue with me on the cover, and that issue was just about telling, you know, people what Tamara's Closet was going to be about. And and then these are this the order that they kind of come in. And and what's so cool about my magazine is that you know I, I'm not a biased magazine. I don't care what people's politics are. They don't have to think like me. Um, I, I'm respectful of them. I celebrate them no matter what. And um, 
and I just think that's what the world needs. We need people who who can, you know, love and celebrate all walks of life. So you know, I, I've had um, Evan Gibson, and he was on the cover. He he was on my magazine in the October one, and he dressed up. It's hard to see in here, but like uh, Dracula for me because I love Halloween. This is Dr. Richard Bedlack. He's world renowned at the Duke Hospital and heads up the ALS clinic there and he has a project ALS Untangled so and you can get all my issues if you're not local online so I made it so that you can buy them online you'll get a physical copy mailed to you, you can purchase it and um, that because I interview people all, all over the world and that's just it's just really cool so I wanted to kind of show you a little bit just about you know what's going on here this is me designing the magazine people think you know you know maybe they think I just have somebody do this I don't I do it I do it I do it myself you know I'm doing all this myself and um and I have to go in here and see I, I'm going to be featuring Grim Bernhoff here and so I've just started his part and you know and I, I have to put the ads in I have to a lot of people I've had to make their ads and so let's see if we can go over to the one that's out right now okay this is one that's out right now so you know this is our district attorney um, Avery Crump Avery Michelle Crump so this is me in the InDesign designing it and this is the one that's out now and you know it's just it's fun for me and it's a lot of work though I just wanted to share this so that people because people will come to me and they'll say well you know I, I have a great story I'd like you to uh, write a story about me and you know and that's great I, I would love to write about every everybody but I, number one I've got to write about people stories that I think will get the magazine picked up because I have to think about my advertisers and I have to think about me I, I, you know this is this is our district attorney um, and so I do a lot of things to support people even local businesses and here's Grace Osley she's been a loyal advertiser with me and I put her right next to, in the middle of uh, Avery's article too and so you know you when it, when you're designing a magazine you can't just order um you can't just add a page you know you got to add if you want to add a page you got to add four pages so well, that's several hundred dollars more so i made my advertising very affordable to help these the small business owners i'm gonna see if i can zoom out here during these um questionable times and uh let's see if i can zoom out a little bit Okay, I can't seem to, I can't see what I'm doing, first of all, but help, let's do it this way. So I'm going to go up here and zoom out. There you go. So, and, and this, these outfits are by, are from Lila Bella Boutique. I just asked her if she would, I wanted to support her, and I asked her if she would put up, put, do some clothing for, you know, some photos of our beautiful district attorney. And so some of the clothes and on the cover are um, is the outfit from Songbirds, Bridals, Consignments, Formals and Consignments on Longdale. So, you know, um, I do things to try to help promote people. And so when someone comes to me and says, I want, you know, you want to run an ad, in my, I mean, they, they want to, um, me to feature them in their magazine, I may ask you, would you, would you like to run an ad? And if you say no, well, you got to understand that, you know, I'd love to write about everybody, but every time I add, write another article, unless it's just two sentences, I've got to add a few more pages. So I just want people to see kind of what goes in to put, putting together a magazine. This is um, Dario Caccini in, uh, in Italy. I met him a few years ago. He's been on my show. So uh, my magazine is unique for several reasons. I have the, you know, I have the advantage because I interview people all over the world. So I've got content for people all over the world. And I get to feature whoever I want to. It's my magazine. 
I'm featuring on the back of this issue, I've got one of my newest models, Addie Salisbury from Ashboro. This is a great lift for her. This is featuring her. Um, you know, and I do things like that just to kind of give back and help. This is my travel um, photographer and writer, Elizabeth Art Larson. She always, she's been loyal to me. She always has an article in here with her beautiful photography. She loves to travel. So, you know, I do, <coughs> you know, what I can. Sorry, I've got a little cough from all these allergies. But I do what I can to help people. And, you know, so I think that's what makes my magazine unique. And um, so if you're looking for a magazine that supports the arts, and I always have a note from Tamara. If you're looking for, want to be a part of something, be a part of a magazine that's supporting the dreamers in the world. And um, not just, it's not just people in the arts, but it's also, since I have so many passions, you know, I've done horse showing for years, dog shows, I love animals. I'm going to be doing stories on Places that I've loved to show horses, show horses and different horse people. I want to find a great jockey to write about. I mean, it's just going to be it's eclectic of fabulous people, talented people in the arts and in 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 the world of because I think horse training is an art, dog training is an art. Every just about everything can end up being an art. You know, if you have a talent to do something, there's a creative side in every vocation. So I just um, wanted to show a little bit of this so that you could see kind of what being. And it's fun for me. It's a lot of work, and I'm on the crunch time. So if you are interested in running an ad, now's the time. Uh, my issue coming out in October. I mean. You're going to be, if you do an ad now, you're going to be in this magazine through the end of December, you know, and, you know, if you want to know where all, where it all is, I've posted that. I can, you can get with me. I'll send you the info, but this is just a great magazine to be a part of because I celebrate people. I tr do my best to lift them up, and I, I'm always trying to think of new things I can do to help my advertisers. I get out there. I'm in the trenches myself, you know, putting them out. As best I can and I have a distributor that puts them out in all the Harris Teeters so um, you know uh, give me a call or email me and um, and pick up my magazine and check it out and help me support all these talented people so that I can also support my advertisers who also have dreams of their own so uh, I'll be making some more videos and, and hope this will um, you know kind of encourage you to take a look at the magazine if you haven't yet so that you can see it's a beautiful publication and i'm proud of it because i've done it all myself and it's um it's a you know it's a work in progress and i'm learning something all the time so see you from tamara's closet